What's up guys, this is Hardik here. So I did it. I installed the iOS 13 public beta 2 on my daily driver iPhone 10R. So I specifically said daily driver is because a lot of people are having questions regarding the stability, the battery of this beta. So I'm gonna answer just that in this video and I'll be explaining you is it stable enough to be used as a daily driver or not. So I'm gonna walk you through few bad things first and then good things after. So the first bad thing or the first con of this public beta is the touch responsiveness. I mean it is pretty sluggish in my opinion when you type it on a keyboard or type something on a keyboard you notice it if you scroll through pages you notice it the frame just drops a bit and you notice the minor stutter on the home screen or on the screen itself so that is the first thing which I don't like the second thing is the Wi-Fi issue. I mean the Wi-Fi is pretty inconsistent in my opinion. I don't know if it's particularly happening to my device or not. If I go into my Google Home app real quick, as you can see it asks me to turn on the Wi-Fi even when my Wi-Fi is turned on. There you go. So this is, I don't know if it's again as I said particularly happening to my device or not. Uh, I tried turning it off, turning it on back again but it is still asking me to do that. So it could be a Google Home app issue or it could be the inconsistent Wi-Fi. My guess is it is the Wi-Fi because even while sending messages on WhatsApp, it takes roughly around two to three seconds before the message gets delivered to the other party. So I think it is the Wi-Fi issue. And talking about the Wi-Fi issue, I have also noticed few network drops on this beta as well. So I've installed this beta yesterday I slept for around 7 hours and when I woke up, I went to make a call and the dialer just said call failed. The call was not able to connect uh, but when I turned on the airplane mode and turned it off, it started working again. So I don't know if it's particularly again to my device or not but yeah, the issue is present on the beta itself. Another thing I would like to talk about is the battery. So I don't know if it's a con or a pro considering this is the beta. Uh, so the battery is pretty great while you use it so as you can see battery my battery health is on 100% I charged it this morning uh, around like what 12.30 so yeah I charged the battery around 12.30 and the battery has been going great I still have around 99% left uh, but the overnight battery drain is around 4% so I woke up in the morning and I saw the battery dropped from around 88% to 84%. I slept for around 7 hours as I said. Uh, but initially while I, when I got this device, the battery drain was only around 1%. So I go to bed around 88, woke up or wake up to 87%. So that was running iOS 12. I'll give it a benefit of doubt because this is again a beta build. So I would not like to strain it a lot because betas tend to drain out battery as apps are not supported uh, and few services are not supported as well so the beta is great in terms of battery life but the overnight drain or the standby drain is a lot considered what i used to get on the ios 12 beta i'm sorry the ios 12 stable build so now to the things i really like is again the first thing is if i go into display and brightness is the dark mode I love it. I honestly love it and in my opinion it is even better than the one on Android Q beta uh, because it tends to add a few accents of grey which helps distinguish the menus or which help while the menus overlap each other. But for now the dark mode is only supported to the stock apps like calendar, photos and stuff, even the messages, there you go, uh, the dialer as well. So it is natively supported on the stock apps. Uh, other apps will support when the final version is rolled out in September but few apps do have independent uh, dark mode which is already embedded in the app itself so that is great so next thing uh, which is even better is the face unlock or the face ID it is instant it is much faster than the one on iOS 12 and you actually see the instant unlock of the device itself so if I just quickly lock my device and if I unlock it there we go. As you saw, the face ID is really quick. I did this behind the camera. So even then it captured me so well that it unlocked instantly. So face ID has been running great on this. 
and no complaints on that and again as i said the in general performance has been great uh, ignoring all the minor stutters that you get while scrolling through apps and stuff like that the performance is great the ram management is going great as well so if i open spotify as you can see it opens right away going back again let's say twitter it opens right away so the ram management and the performance is going great so now answering the question of is it stable enough for daily use is yes i mean this is my daily driver 10r initially i would like to admit i was having second thoughts about flashing or installing this version but then i thought i am like a beta tester from years now i have been flashing and installing betas on my device like android device for years now so why give iphone another chance or why spare iphone in this particular section so i thought why not flash it or install it and see if it is working good so one thing i would like to share with you guys is i installed the ios 13 beta and then i actually reset my device i do it with all my devices let's like the android as well i clean install the betas because uh, i don't like to carry anything from the previous builds so i clean install or clean flash it just because to get the best performance and the best stability so i did that on the 10r as well i clean install like i install it first then i re reset my device and then i install all the apps once again i have few apps yet to set up so i'll do that after this video also i'm going to be making a watch on my iphone video so stay tuned on that i will have to add like i have to add a few apps in here as well so yeah stay tuned for that particular video but other than that everything seems to work pretty fine uh, i have not found any major issues as of now all the issues that i have encountered are minor issues like the wifi and the network inconsistency the battery drainage overnight these are all minor issues and it eventually will be fixed in the later beta builds so i am counting on apple to fix it soon uh, but yeah all the major issues like the overheating issue or the excess battery drainage all those major issues have been fixed uh, in this beta which were present on the previous beta so that is a good thing it it actually shows that apple is fixing a lot of major issues uh, when it comes to the beta builds but other than that uh, again as i said the beta 2 is running great ignoring all the minor issues which are actually minor but yeah ignoring all those the beta build has been really great so yeah that is pretty much it for this video if you have any questions regarding the beta do let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to reply to you guys and uh, yeah that is pretty much it thank you for watching if you have any any if you have any other video suggestions for this particular device or this particular software do let me know in the comment section below and i'll be making a video on that as well for now that is pretty much it thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one